What are your own learning resources? I, I guess you already talked about it, about books and courses. Maybe maybe I can put some links into the show notes later. So what do you yourself use to learn? Do you also, I assume like like app developer, you also just type stuff into Google and use whatever pops up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, that's, there's no, there's no magic sauce to that. Um, but I do, nowadays, I do tend to look at more code than like tutorials nowadays, because, you know, as you get more experienced, reading someone's code is, you know, sometimes even better, like, because you understand the big picture. Uh, but I mostly look at people's code on GitHub, um, usually find that from YouTube tutorials. So like, that's, that's usually the way in is just to type in whatever you want and say, you know, Unity, you know, character, 3D character controller, floating camera. See what happens, like see whose projects come up. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of trial and error, but that's kind of what we signed up for. <laughs> and when you learn game development, of course, in the beginning, as everything else, it's, it usually starts out a lot of fun, but then often there's a dip in motivation data. So do you have any general tips for people to stay motivated when they learn game development and when they work through your book, for example? Yeah, I mean, my book, I have tried to keep it small. I mean, it is it is a fairly thick book, but it's definitely something that you can that you can get through. Like it's not it's not so long and like kind of dry and boring without doing anything like you can you can work through this book. I mean, I've had someone work through it in a weekend who was like, wow, this got, you know, this was a lot of fun. I got a project, you know, I already knew some stuff, but you know, that was great for, you know, the burnout or the, like trying to keep your motivation up. I honestly, when I get, when I get frustrated or, you know, kind of demotivated with my own more complicated projects, I honestly go back and just find some fun, easy tutorial. And I do it because it reminds you that it's, that this is fun. And I think a lot of the demotivation in programming in general comes with, you know, coming to a problem and not knowing, like kind of feeling alone and not knowing where to go and like kind of feeling stuck. And, you know, the, the important thing to realize is that you're not alone. Like go to Stack Overflow, go start talking to people. Like this is how you get better. It's not, it's as much as this is sort of a solo sport I would say in the long run, programming is a team sport because you're never going to do it entirely by yourself. Like no one's born knowing how to program. You have to learn. You have to talk to people. You have to get stuck and break things and fix it. So that's sort of my two cents. But I always, I love just going back and doing things that I know are sort of completable. Like that there's no, there's no like, will I won't, will this won't this work? Like go back and do something easy and fun. Like go to go to do some of the beginner or intermediate Unity Learn tutorials. Yeah, like makes sense. That stuff is heavily vetted. Like there's it's not gonna be there's no, you know, uncertainty, I would say, when you're doing that. You know, so let it go, breathe, relax, have fun, <laughs> and then go back to your project. 